Hello, this is just a quick tip if anybody's converting a boat trailer to a utility trailer. I converted this trailer a couple of years back. If you'd like to see the series on how I got it done, just hit the link up above. I was considering taking this pulley off to give myself some extra room over here. I wanted to extend the trailer forward a little bit more for when I pick up tractors. But I have to tell you, I've used this to pull more tractors up than anything else. I did hook up a Harbor Freight electric winch. Which I have a link to it up there also and this wench the way I have it rigged up I use a jumper box when I want to use it but I find this to be more useful for the majority of times when it's a real heavy load I will use this and I put this on for a backup now this is what I did yesterday just to give you an idea besides pulling up tractors I picked up this coal stove this has to weigh a good 500 pounds and it was raining like crazy when I picked it up yesterday <laughs> stop right there Rain stopped right after I picked it up. And the way I got this up here, I was by myself. I didn't have anybody to give me a hand. I just laid out these two planks. I wrapped the chain around it, and I pulled it up with that wench. Now, it didn't come right up. I have to tell you, I had a little crowbar. And, I, and as it was coming up, I had to pry on the front of it up here. Because what was happening, the stove was being pulled this way. So... I came to the front of it, just pried it up, pried it up. Once I had it about midway up the ramp, it just slid right up. It was no effort whatsoever. Now the issue I have is getting it off the trailer. I tried pushing this and it's not budging. So what I'm gonna do is lift it somewhat, get a couple of the pipes under it, get a couple other ramps over here and slide it down that way. But the point of this video is in how I'm getting this on and off. It's just that if you're gonna convert a trailer, a boat trailer, to a utility trailer keep this on until you decide you don't need it at all or if it's really in your way and you can see when i first did this trailer it was a nice brown color it was a combination of uh, motor oil and diesel fuel it came out really nice but i can't tell you how many tons of mulch stone and even millions that I've picked up with this thing over the last few years. A couple of bolts came, nuts and bolts came out. This is all I had. I'm not cutting it off because I'm getting the right size. So every once in a while, I do have to go around, tighten it up. But other than that, it's serving me well. That's a wrap. If you enjoyed this video or have any comments or questions, post them down below. Give it a like. And if you haven't done so already, subscribe. Until next time, stay well.